हेलो फ्रेंड्स यूपीएससी मेंस में हाई स्कोर करना इज अ गारंटी दैट यू विल फाइंड योर नेम इन द फाइनल लिस्ट एंड आल्सो यू विल गेट योर प्रिफर्ड सर्विस एंड फॉर दैट आपके मेंस के आंसर्स का प्रॉपर इवेल्युएशन होना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और यहाँ पे आई एस नेटवर्क विद अ टीम ऑफ टॉपर्स और जिन्होंने लेटेस्ट यू के इंटरव्यू दिए हैं दे विल हेल्प यू इन योर इवेल्युएशन प्रोसेस फॉर फर्दर डिटेल्स कॉन्टेक्ट अस और विजिट आवर वेबसाइट ऑफ आई नेटवर्क थैंक यू हेलो एवरी आई एम चंद्रकांत रेड्डी I secured All India Rank 120 in CSE 2020. I belongs to state of Andhra Pradesh. I did my engineering from VIT University in Electronics and Communication Engineering in 2017. Uh, I was not eligible to write the exam in uh, 2017 as I was 20 years old. So I given 2018, 2019, and 2020 attempt. I had given uh, three. Uh, Three successive attempts. In these three successive attempts, I had given three mains continuously and two interviews. So uh, I was reasonably aware of the uh, mains. And then in my first mains, I went to the interview. In second mains, uh, I I didn't uh, qualify for the interview because of a low optional score. I missed the cut off by twenty marks. And in the third mains, I secured the All India Rank one twenty. now i would like to tell about the book list for mains the book the books uh, which are from the conventional topics such as the history polity geography these books were same for the mains as well as the prelims the remaining things which we were not been reading for the prelims such as the society social justice governance international relations internal security disaster management ethics and values these topics uh, one needs to prepare their own notes rather than uh, uh, like uh, keeping on uh, uh, trusting one book and preparing uh, one can prepare a decent enough notes uh, like uh, i have uh, i have a format for preparing the notes such as uh, for any topic one needs to have the definition of the topic uh, within one to two lines the first thing is definition the second thing one can be prepared like the data or origin of that uh, event can be noted down and the third thing is the main purpose of the event the main purpose of the concern topic which you are uh, preparing notes and the fourth thing is advantages or disadvantages merits or demerits of the topic and if issues are there in the topic there there are certain steps taken by the government this is the fifth thing what are the steps uh, taken by the government to reduce the issues from the topic and the sixth step is uh, even the government taken certain steps uh, but there are persisting challenges in the solving the case in solving those issues the challenges uh, are the sixth topic and finally the seventh is will be way forward in these things uh, one can take the either any committee reports or constitutional values sustainable development goals or any famous personalities uh, related to that topic for example i will give an example with respect to the right to information act one can go for uh, uh, like what is right to information act is the first to uh, is the first to, Uh, thing one needs to prepare and the second when it got originated like it was originated in 2005 and what was the genesis of the origination this is the second aspect one needs to prepare and the third one is why the right to information act is required for the country uh, the main purpose behind right to information act and the fourth aspect is what is the uh, importance of uh, importance and advantages with respect to right to information and what are the issues with respect to right to information although right to information act is there but there are uh, people are not getting the accurate and correct information so these are some issues why this is coming is the this is the fourth aspect and then the fifth aspect is government has taken institutionalized uh, like uh, state information commission central information commission Uh, and all the government has taken these steps there are issues with respect to state information commission central information commission and public information officers so this is the sixth step and finally uh, the way forward will be the seventh step so in this way the topics uh, notes can be prepared for everything
and we, for the ethics the notes can be prepared in a different perspective such as uh, for ethics uh, the syllabus is almost clearly defined by the upsc so uh, one needs to go through the uh, if, if suppose the topic is the attitude so one can prepare the attitude definition on their own or any book definition or some google definition anything they can choose as per their uh, uh, interest and the second aspect is with respect to attitude they need the importance of the attitude they need to put the second aspect so the importance comes from importance is second and the third aspect is at least they need to get uh, two examples for attitude one from their self and one from the society are a very renowned example they can take and the fourth aspect is uh, uh, how attitude is important in the governance of the country this is the interlinkage with respect to the administration perspective and finally in the concluding any quotation or uh, any philosophical value like uh, sarva dharma sambhav like these things can be added in the concluding this in this way ethics uh, notes can be prepared so uh, but the importance of current affairs i would like to discuss now when it comes to the current affairs the first paper gs1 comprises geography history society second paper uh, polity is social justice governance and international relations third paper economics science and technology environment and security fourth paper is ethics when we go through the syllabus like this the only uh, first paper and fourth paper are uh, not related most of the things are from the static perspective there is very less chances of asking current affairs question and essay paper is also static work so there is no chance of getting current affairs in essay so the only topics which are uh, current affairs oriented are gs2 and gs3 in this gs2 also most of the polity questions from uh, if we seen from the 2013 onwards most of the polity questions are from uh, static portion only so very less chance of asking current affairs in this uh, polity questions and then uh, the questions in from current affairs one needs to be prepared from polities owner the recent acts are uh, constitutional amendments which are uh, done in the last one year that is the important thing and the second one uh, the constitutional bodies and non constitutional bodies in news these are the only two important current affairs one needs to prepare from the current affairs perspective and uh, international relations is purely derived from the current affairs in international relations most of the questions coming from uh, recent bilateral meetings multilateral meetings and uh, india's neighborhood relations and then the important international organizations in news such as the who and then uh, finally the indian diaspora in news from these things only international relations questions will be derived so for this international relations perspective if one can read the daily newspaper uh, they can get the brief knowledge of what is going on in the international era and uh, where the prime minister of india or president of india is visiting so these things will be suffice to deal with the international relations perspective apart from the static notes which they had prepared and then from economy perspective uh, in economy also in economy they will give eight questions and in that four questions will be from agriculture and four questions will be from the core economics so most of the agriculture questions are static oriented so uh, no need of uh, uh, rigorous uh, current affairs preparation only one thing one current affair oriented question from agriculture topic is the schemes in news if the government of india announces any particular scheme for the agriculture so one needs to go through what is the benefits of that scheme or uh, if there is an any milestone achieved by that scheme for, such as the if uh, five years are crossed after the announcement of that scheme so that uh, one needs to prepare holistically about that scheme and and whether the if the scheme is been uh, announced in the independence day speech or republic day speech also that scheme becomes important from agriculture perspective and from economy pers pure economics perspective 
two questions are all uh, will always come one is the inclusive growth of india so inclusive growth uh, question is always static there is uh, nothing to prepare for the current affairs perspective and the second one is the uh, macroeconomic fundamentals of india this in this macroeconomic fundamental question most of the uh, question question seems to be static but uh, if one can interrelate the latest inflation data poverty data unemployment data so these data will come from the current affairs so these things they can get from any current affairs magazine uh, before mains or they can google the latest unemployment data uh, they can get the data or they can include in that question and remaining things like uh, infrastructure and then industry in this topics the questions uh, will be mix of current affairs and static so if uh, the government uh, infrastructure plans like national infrastructure pipeline gati shakti yojana these things uh, one needs to aware what is it just uh, if we are aware what is going on in that uh, economic angle so one can use their static knowledge and one can prepare the answer on their own and from then the next important topic is science and technology in that science and technology topic most of the questions will be derived from the current affairs perspective but uh, one can answer uh, by preparing a decent enough notes from the topic uh, beforehand like uh, if the biotechnology revolution is happening in india the upsc might ask the biotechnology importance to farmers or biotechnology importance to the fishery sector but uh, if one can prepare the applications of biotechnology in their notes they can easily answer the question without going through any most, uh, like most of the current affairs so for every important uh, uh, technologies available in the society they need to have the applications and issues uh, pertaining to the technology and uh, from environment uh, the current affairs are mostly coming from the uh, any amendments or any changes in the environment impact assessment and the second thing is uh, the government of india um, measures to combat the climate change pollution ozone depletion and uh, water conservation the, they are directly asking about the schemes like uh, briefly describe about the national clean air program they are directly asking so one needs to aware of the schemes and all uh, the government of india measures and the final thing is uh, internal security in internal security most of the questions are uh, uh, static itself static itself uh, they are derived from the uh current happenings in the world like uh, if indo china clashes are there they will ask that dkt upsc cs agar aap keval civil service pariksha ke prelims mains aur interview ke video dekhna chahte hain to subscribe kare dkt upsc csc channel yahan aapko toppers ke video rank ke hisab se arrange milenge channel ke link ke liye description box mein jaye the non state actors and state actors influence on the india's internal security but uh, one if one can prepare from a if one can prepare a decent notes there itself the crux of the issue will be covered in their notes itself so there is no need to go through the rigorously the current affairs which is happening but one can have a note that if uh, indo china clash is happening in which area it is precisely happening whether in western sector or eastern sector that much awareness is sufficient to, to answer the question and the finally ethics is almost uh, negligible current affairs will come from the ethics section so the ultimately out of the 1250 uh, paper excluding the optional the current affairs weightage will be hovering around uh, 252 to 300 marks so most of the things will be derived from the static people should prepare for the static portion rigorously than current affairs now i will discuss about the important topics which are uh, coming frequently from 2013 onwards uh, uh, i had made a list of topics by analyzing from pa- by past 6 to 7 years question papers uh, Uh, so these topics are frequently repeated uh, and i will say about the uh, topics now uh, 
from uh, i will say about the topic wise uh, topic wise and paper wise when it comes to the essay paper the important topic is uh, topics like the women education healthcare sector uh, climate change and india's economic uh, growth trajectory and uh, india's uh, international relations with other countries then uh, the topic of uh, indian society uh, cultural diversity of india and multiculturalism of india these are the frequently repeated topics uh, in the uh, essay section but recently upsc changed the trend to the philosophical topics in essay so uh in a essay one needs to prepare at least these topics holistically from every angle for instance if there is a question science and technology is a boon or bane for, uh, for india means you you need to able to write that how science and technology is helping the indian farmers india like governance system of india how science and technology is helping the uh, Uh, knowing about the hist- history like pre- uh, decoding the prehistoric cultures of india then uh, how science and technology is helping our securing our borders our uh, how science and technology is helping in spreading the indian value system so these things can be done at the same time uh, we we need to talk about the negatives of science and technology such as uh, science and technology is leading to the concept of designer babies atomic bombs these things so one needs to prepare uh, this these six to seven topics in a holistic fashion uh, they both positives and negatives they can prepare certain quotations regarding it and then uh, some concluding lines and some any famous personalities associated with the topic so uh, like this the essay needs to be prepared and when it comes to the uh, gs1 in gs1 there are three topics uh, history history geography and the society first uh, the history comprises of uh, india's art and architecture then uh, modern indian history then world history and uh, post independence consolidation of india so four topics are there in the history uh, every year uh, six questions are coming from the history three 10 markers and three 15 markers so uh, in the uh, at least one or two questions will come from the indian art and architecture from the indian art and architecture uh, the most important topics are the indus valley civilization architecture such as the town planning of indus valley civilization and then sculptures of the, uh, during the indus valley civilization such as the dancing girl uh, uh, the priest uh, and the bullock cart these things and the seals of the indus valley civilization and uh, pottery prevailing in the indus valley civilization so the ultimately the indus valley civilization is very important for the in the art and architecture dimension the next important dimension is the temple architecture in temple architecture one needs to know about the nagara style of uh, temple architecture and dravida style of temple architecture and next comes the perspective indo islamic architecture in indo islamic architecture how the islam elements are uh, introduced in the indian style of architecture and what are the significant features of the indo islamic architecture then the important concept comes from the painting how the paintings have been evolved since the ancient times to the modern times so uh, one needs to know about when the mural paintings had originated fresco paintings had originated and then the important uh, caves such as ajanta ellora jogi mara caves these caves uh, dedicated to which religion these things one needs to be aware of and then the important question comes from uh, the buddhist architecture in buddhist architecture the important things are the stupa architecture of the uh, buddhism the second one is the three schools of buddhism such as amaravati mathura and then uh, Taks- uh, takshila school of architecture Uh, these things has to be prepared then finally the other important topics comes from the performing arts such as the uh, hindustani music versus uh, uh, classical music differences and then the uh, different dance forms mm-hmm. and the dance forms relation with respect to the religion of india uh, these things have been frequently asked 
most of the questions in art and architecture are related to the indian culture and value system so uh, they will link with the indian art and architecture uh, to the indian culture and value system so and the next topic is the indian literature in indian literature uh, that uh, they are asking mostly about the foreign travelers uh, literature on india then the important regional literatures like the uh, hindi uh, telugu literature tamil sangam literature and then uh, persian literature arabic literature so in this literature they need to be aware of at least one to two books and uh, in the most of the literature topics uh, in most of the books they were, they had mentioned about the indian socio cultural system such as the uh, prevailing social conditions uh, like caste system sati system most of the literature have discussed the same thing even if you don't know the what the exactly uh, what exactly the persian literature has told if you remember the one to two books you can write the generalistic state, uh, general points which are prevailing in the 10th and 11th century of uh, india so in this way art and culture can be covered and uh, when it comes to the modern indian history in modern indian history uh, the first important topic comes from the indian uh, british impact on the indian economic system so the destruction of the handicraft industry of india this is one of the major topics upsc has uh, repeated two to three times this question and then uh, commercialization of indian agriculture then the reasons behind the 1857 movement this uh, upsc has repeated uh, uh, some three times uh, with uh, with the different uh, ways of framing the question and then comes the important aspect like uh, Uh, in the gandhian movements one needs to know about the inclusivity in the Ga- inclusivity during the gandhian movements uh, in uh, during the gandhian phase the students women uh, muslim peasants uh, industry industrial workers everyone participated socialists so in this way the how the gandhian movements uh, helped in getting the indian independence struggle is a very important aspect and then the next important aspect is transfer of power uh, to the india it have uh, between the 1940 to 1947 how the events has changed this thing one needs to be aware of and then the other important aspect is uh, uh, socio religious reform movements how raja ram mohan rai ishwar chandra vidya sagar have contributed eliminating the social evils in india and then how they contributed in uh, strengthening the national movement of india these are the important topics from modern indian history when it comes to the world history generally the world history topics are clearly defined in the syllabus such as the decolonization process and colonization process uh, then uh, world wars and uh, industrial revolution french revolution chinese revolution russian revolution these are the certain important topics and uh, in post independence consolidation Uh, the major topic is a reorganization of the states uh, uh, after the post independence and tribal movements and then the language issue post uh, during the post independence and then the agrarian revolution such as the green revolution uh, during the 1965 this is these are the important topics from uh, uh, post independence consolidation then uh, when it come uh, then i would like to discuss about the society in society there are uh, there uh, you will get uh, six questions uh, three 10 markers and three 15 markers more uh, most of the years the questions uh, comes from the women like whether it can be the women movements or the problems faced by the women these are the two important things uh, where the upsc is asking and the second important uh, thing is the population control measures uh, by the government of india and how the population can be controlled and the third important thing is uh, the globalization how uh, globalization has helped the india or uh, helped the in uh, spreading the indian culture and value system and uh, how globalization had impacted the negatively the indian culture and value system these are uh, then uh, secularism and communalism is one important aspect these are the things uh, from society that repeatedly questions are asked from the geography the important questions comes from uh, 
uh, most of the questions will come from the uh, ocean oceanography and then the volcanoes earthquakes uh, these three are the important topics and then the next topic is the the plate tectonics uh, aspect is very important in geography section uh, most of the questions like uh, how the uh, island arcs have been formed how the volcanoes have been formed how the metoceanic ridges have been formed and uh, what is the impact of plate tectonics on the indian himalayas western ghats aravallis these things have been frequently asked in the geography section and the another important uh, dimension is the water uh, water conservation the rain water harvesting pits these things have been asked and then the other important thing is uh, industries like the industrial corridors of india steel industry um, uh, fertilizer industry automobile industry these things uh, uh, what is the reason behind the steel industry located in certain section uh, certain part of india uh, the factors affecting the industrial location have been the important aspect and uh, when it comes to the resources aspect in resources they are mostly focusing on the uh, non renewable things in non renewable things also the crude oil has been the important aspect as it affects the indian economic system and the in the renewable things they are mostly asking the solar energy uh, and importance of solar energy and uh, other thing is interstate interstate river water disputes and uh, uh river water linkage is the other important task i would like to discuss about the gs2 of uh, gs2 in the gs2 uh, the topics ranges from the polity social justice governance and international relations in polity the uh, most of the questions are coming from the 1935 act of the government of india act 1935 and then the fundamental rights especially the article 14 article 19 and article 21 issues arising uh, in these articles and the relationship between the fundamental rights and the directive principles of state policy and then the constitutional amendment act uh, constitutional amendment procedures uh, that is the article 368 of the constitution and then the other things like uh, federalism and then uh, important features of the federalism and then the difference between the presidential form of government and parliamentary form of government and then uh, the things like anti defection law uh, reforms to the judicial system police system and then prison prison reforms uh, electoral reforms and constitutional bodies like the cag uh, then uh, election commission of india a non constitutional bodies like national commission for women nhrc in these topics one needs to prepare about the appointment process removal process and what are the issues pertaining to these bodies and when it comes to the uh, governance aspect mostly they are asking on the transparency uh, such as the rti act the citizen charter and e governance or e governance the uh, uh, base of uh, like there are four types of e governance uh, then uh, they are asking in then social justice topics and they are asking about the vulnerabilities uh, faced by the uh, uh, vulnerable sections of the uh, country such as the women sc st uh, etc and then uh, finally in the international relations uh, most of the questions uh, coming from the topics like uh, Uh, neighborhood relations uh, such as the seven neighbors of india and then the uh, the other important relations are the indo russia relation indo us relation indo uh, japan relation and indo africa relation these are the certain important relations and then uh, the other things like the indian diaspora in news after the uh, usa vice president has been elected the immediately the question came in the Yeah, UPSC paper like uh, role of uh, Indian diaspora in the politics of the America and Europe. Then uh, the other important aspects like important uh, international organizations like WTO, WHO. These things are frequently in news, so repeatedly they will be coming in one or other dimension. Then uh, when it comes to the GS three, the the topics are uh, economy, science and technology. disaster management environment and internal security in the 
in the economy section the questions will be coming mostly from the fiscal policy in the fiscal policy also the questions uh, uh, the budget of that uh, specific year and then the taxation reforms such as the gst reforms uh, these two are the major areas and then basic concepts of fiscal policy and the second important aspect is the indian agriculture section in, in the indian indian agriculture section most of the questions coming from the food processing industry and then supply chain mechanism uh, in the indian agriculture and the agricultural revolutions of the country and then schemes pertaining to the indian agriculture these are the certain important aspect and food distribution system of india this is also important and then the next important aspect coming from the inclusive growth uh, poverty and unemployment these are the important topics and uh, when it comes to the science and technology as i said earlier also the latest technologies one needs to be aware of uh, i i mentioned the specific topics in the uh, in a uh, brochure i will give the i will give the link in the description you can check the important topics for science and technology and environment section mostly the questions are coming from the conservation of environment where the indian government steps like the napcc and national cooling action plan have been uh, are important and then india's commitments in the unfc unf triple c are very important and uh, when it comes to the internal security perspective internal security the most of the Uh, directly they uh, directly they are asking the topics which are mentioned in the syllabus such as money laundering and then uh, non state actors and state actors involvement in the internal security then the naxalite movement these things are directly asked so by preparing a precise notes on these topics will be suffice to answer these questions decently and in ethics uh, there are two uh, two things one is on the uh, theory side and one is on the case study side in theory side also there is one aspect such as the, uh, they will give one quotation and one needs to write an answer uh, based on the quotation in the quotation type of questions one can give the brief introduction what the quotation cannot for and then next they can directly uh, write uh, with uh, importance of that quotation in the present day world and they can mention a few example like one or two examples how the quotation has been relevant in the present day world and when it comes to the case studies uh, they can uh, most of the questions are coming from uh, from the case study in case studies are from the attitude change and then government governance oriented case studies are uh, at least these two comprise at least four out of six case studies now i would like to discuss about the answer writing when one needs to get into the answer writing practice these things i would like to discuss first uh, first when one needs to get into the answer writing practice uh, one has to prepare it, uh, prepare decent enough such as uh, four to five months of the initial study will give them the uh, knowledge to write a uh, good answer so without having the enough knowledge even if you write an answer is also not uh, like it won't benefit you much once you get the sufficient knowledge to answer the question then only start attempting the questions then you can see the improvement in the answer writing here uh, i would like to discuss the answer writing from paper wise uh, strategy like in essay in essay most of the questions nowadays are coming from the philosophical angle so uh, one can start the philosophical essay either with a, uh, like a anecdote or a story or the second aspect is uh, you can start with a uh, quotation uh, and third one is defining the keywords in the topic given that is also the uh, good strategy so after these three strategies one can uh, after the introduction is complete one can move towards the body section in the body uh, they have to discuss the a philosophical topic with various angles such as the uh, as like in the upsc syllabus you can discuss with the historical perspective political perspective social perspective and then economical perspective ethical perspective with different things you can try but uh, one needs to remember that every para of the uh, essay should be linked to the topic given uh, if if it is not linked to the topic given your entire paragraph will be waste and the second aspect is uh, one needs to have the multiple 
सब हेडिंग्स आर मल्टीपल मल्टीपल व्यूज इन द सेम एस से लाइक इफ इट इज आस्ट लाइक रेशनल रेशनल इज रियल आर रियल इज रेशनल वन कैन टॉक अबाउट वेदर रेशनल इज रियल देन वेदर रियल इज रेशनल दीज आर दू एंगल्स एंड दी थर्ड वन इज हाउ हाउ वन कैन अचीव the rationality in reality this is the third aspect uh, then the fourth aspect is uh, why rationality is not uh, there in reality this is the fourth aspect and the fifth aspect is uh, uh, how can we achieve rationality uh, in reality this is the final concluding paragraph and then uh, and the concluding uh, while uh, after the body you can write four to five paragraphs as a way forward and the concluding paragraph uh, should encapsulate all your essay and the importance of the essay topic for the current world this is how you can write the philosophical essay and then the next topic i would like to talk about is general studies one in general studies one in the answer writing part for history one can start with a uh data or an uh, event which had happened for example if battle of plassey or battle of buxar they would uh, they had asked you can start with the year in which it had happened and between whom it had happened so the chronology aspect will be very much helpful in introducing the historical aspect and in history also you can uh, you can draw the diagram such as the india map or the world map where the actual event has taken place and then some of the things like the in temple architecture or buddhist architecture you can draw the basic temple or basic stupa uh, and finally in the concluding line you can talk about how this particular historical event had led to the uh, next historical event this is and then uh, when it comes to the society part in society most of the things like uh, you can either start with the data or the definition of the topic for example if urbanization topic they had asked you can start with the things like the in india in by 2050 more 50% of india lives in the cities like that like this type of data you can start uh, our globalization aspect you can start with the definition of globe what do you meant by globalization and then you can talk about the question which they had asked and finally you can conclude with the constitutional articles in the are the sustainable development goals for example uh, if the question is on women you can talk about the gender equality that is sustainable development goal 5 in the conclusion part this is uh, this is the evaluation part and then when the third important aspect is the geography in geography most of the questions you can draw the map whether it can be the world map or the india map that is that that will give you the uh, additional advantage and then the in introduction most of the things can be easily defined like if they ask about the uh movement of the plates or plate tectonics mantle plume these things you can directly define what do you meant by mantle plume and then you can draw the diagrams how it is occurring and finally in the uh, in the uh, conclusion you can talk about uh, by my, uh, by the, by such an event uh, what will happen to the future uh, like that you can conclude with the futuristic oriented conclusion then next one next topic i would like to discuss is gs2 in gs2 polity in polity most of the questions will have you can use the constitutional articles if they ask about election commission of india you can talk about article 324 if they ask about uh, comptroller and auditor general you can talk about article 148 so in in introduction itself you can use the articles and in the body part uh, you can talk about they had asked and you can also use the court the supreme court judgments as a valuation part in the concluding you can talk about the any committees uh, such as national constitutional review commission or punchi commission any commission arc2 you can conclude the answer for the polity and then the third uh, next important aspect is uh, social justice uh, and uh, so in the social justice part also uh you can talk, you can use the constitutional articles for the social justice such as the dpsp article 38 and 39 are very important articles for social justice you can talk about the preamble in the question about the social justice and 
concluding uh, you can talk about the sustainable development goals and supreme court judgments on social justice such as the nagaraj case these things can be used in the social justice part in governance aspect uh, you can have the diagrams for the citizen charter like uh, basic citizen charter you can draw a board and then uh, you can draw the e governance and then you can in governance most of the things by writing examples you can get the uh, most of the marks for example if they ask about uh, uh, g2c government to citizen uh, e governance project you can talk about the pass e passport seva kind like this uh, when you give most of the examples you will get more marks and then uh, next is the international relations in international relations one of the value addition perspective is the drawing the world map if it is relevant in the question and the next important perspective is talking about article 51 of the uh, constitution uh, uh, which talks about the peace and prosperity across the world and then you can use the quotation like as the vasudeva kutumbakam these things will give uh, more more uh, marks uh, apart from your uh, um, current knowledge and when it comes to the economy you can introduce an answer in the economy with the brief data pointer like the current uh, poverty levels are this our current uh, inflation level is this uh, and the, our current gdp is this then you can talk about the issues like uh, whatever they asked in the question and you can conclude uh, with a futuristic one like uh, any committee recommendations or uh, or your own recommendations but it should be substantiated with any case study like that case studies will add more value in this uh, in economy answers and then you can draw the graphs here like of how from 1947 to 2022 how the indian economy has moved how the poverty level has changed uh, in this time how the agricultural sector growth rate has uh, done and how the industrial growth rate has been there in this in this era and then when it comes to the science and technology uh, if you give more examples of where this technology has been used for example if they ask about nanotechnology you can talk about the it can be used for, for the treatment of the cancer like that if you give the more uh, examples uh, you will get the more marks uh, it can be for the 5g technology artificial intelligence well, like you can use some case studies such as the artificial intelligence has been used in the traffic lighting system in uh, so and so city like that you can use and then uh, the other important thing is uh, environment in environment uh, you can draw the india map to show the biological diversity of india Uh, how the biological diversity has been changing due to the urbanization uh, projects and uh, and the developmental projects and then you can talk about the uh, indian government schemes in the conclusion and you can talk about sustainable development goals in the conclusion then you can use the data from the indian panel uh, international panel on climate change then finally in the internal security uh the questions related to the border uh, border disputes you can uh, directly draw the india map and you can highlight where the um, border disputes are there and then if they ask about naxalism you can talk about the uh, red corridor of india how it changed from 2008 to 2018 or 2020 uh then uh, from the money laundering perspective also you can talk about the various stages of money laundering how it is threatening the indian society here also here you can use the things like uh, uh, constitutional articles have become a advantage in this uh, internal security questions uh, how by providing the constitutional benefits to the people of india can uh, help in reducing the internal security issues and in uh, ethics most of the things will be revolving around the uh, the definition and then the example which you are giving and most important uh, thing is uh, you should write the importance of the uh, value which is asked in the question if you don't write the importance of the value you will get uh, some one or two marks less and in case study uh, you have to write uh, like the brief facts of the case like uh, what are the things have been discussed in the case and then you can talk about the stakeholders next you can talk about the 
ethical issues ethical issues are uh, after ethical issues you can talk about uh, the mostly they will ask about the options available and which is the best option you will choose here at least three options to be given the first option should be the worst option and the third option should be the best option and after the best option also they they will ask which option do you choose in the which option do you choose you can say about the i will choose the third option but uh, in the third option also there are certain negatives and you can mention about how you will try to reduce these negatives this is the value addition part and then you can conclude with any quotation or any famous personalities uh, uh, saying or uh, with this you can quote hello friends UPSC mains mein high score karna is a guarantee that you will find your name in the final list and also you will get your preferred service and for that aapke mains ke answers ka proper evaluation hona bahut important hai aur yahan pe IS network with a team of toppers aur jinhone latest UPSC ke interview diye hain they will help you in your evaluation process for further details contact us or visit our website of IS network thank you uh, now i will discuss about the relevance of test series for the mains Uh, for uh, for mains uh, i think the test series is not as much relevant as prelims because the um, the mains test series are mostly you need to target uh, you need to it will help you to prepare for the 3 hour exam like you need to write the 20 questions in the 3 hours so mostly in, from that perspective only the test series will be helpful for the mains uh, most of the questions you won't get repeated in the mains actual exam so for the uh, for the preparing for the knowledge and other things the mains test series is not helpful but for preparing for the time management perspective the test series is very much helpful uh, for the mains so uh, one can write any four uh, like four tests from any uh, from any coaching institute they can uh, they can help it can help it to complete the paper within 3 hours and one no need to worry about the scores which they had awarded in the test series it is it won't be replicated in the final exam so keep concentrating on how to write the answers and how to improvise the answers how to add value addition to your answers this will give you much more marks now i will discuss how i how i will do in the exam how i will complete my paper in the exam hall initially you will get the question paper before 5 minutes itself so you can uh, within those 5 minutes you can see how the what are the questions and what are the topics has been answer, asked in the paper so after this 5 minutes i used to write the first 10 markers because the first impression is the best impression with that logic i used to attempt the 10 markers first although 15 markers has more weightage so i will take uh, around 1 uh, hour 15 minutes uh, to complete 1 hour 15 to 1 hour 20 minutes to complete the all the 10 markers and for 15 markers i used to take 10 minutes of time for every question so uh, you will get 1 uh, hour 40 minutes for 15 marker questions and one needs to keep in note that uh, uh, they need to keep track uh, tracking the time every 5 minutes and every 10 minutes how much pay, uh, how much things and how much uh, questions they have been completed and what are the remaining things so they need to calculate in the mind like in the last one hour i have the six questions or seven questions remaining so you need to divide 60 minutes by six questions so 10 minutes for each question so after uh, 10 minutes over you need to you will have only five questions like that if you do uh, you can attempt you can complete the paper safely if you if you uh, and then one needs to Uh, keep in mind that if you know good content in uh, some question like you don't need to keep on writing that question and uh, you, if you keep on writing for 10 15 minutes for one single question you will miss the another question right? uh, like you will lose some four to five marks in that question so ultimately you will get uh, less marks than uh, who are, who had attempted uh, both questions in an average fashion so uh, one needs to attempt all the 20 questions uh, even with the average content also so most of the questions like uh, 10 to 12 questions will be uh, very uh, one will get one will know very good uh, with very good knowledge so 
these 10 to 12 questions one needs to attempt with good knowledge remaining seven uh, eight questions one can sail through the with an average performance they will get the good marks ultimately now i would like to discuss about the how to prepare for the interview i had given two interviews so most uh, like for an interview we will get uh, two to two and a half months post mains so two to two and a half months free time in that uh, two to two and a half months one can prepare the daf holistically like uh, which state you belong which city you belong which district and then the importance of city district and state and then which school and which college you graduated uh, so any importance associated with that college and then your personal profile whether you had done job uh, if you done job why you have, why why you are preparing for this exam uh, this sort of questions and what is the role of your, role in your job these things can be prepared holistically from the daf and the second important aspect is like there are certain perennial topics uh, which uh, uh, interviewers will ask uh, uh, almost every second to third candidate such as the uh, unemployment situation in india poverty situation in india and then uh, uh, why the innovation in india is less when compared to the western countries these topics are perennial but these topics will be der- ultimately derived from the your daf if you are an engineer they might ask like if you are, if you are specifically from computer science or electronics they might specifically ask about uh, technologies to you but if you are an uh, Uh, if you are a doctor uh, like mbbs graduate they might ask you like uh, why indian healthcare system is poor in india what are the lapses in indian healthcare system so ultimately uh, the perennial topics also derived from your daf one needs to extrapolate the things from the daf uh, this is the second aspect and the third aspect is uh, uh, like before the interview one week before the interview there are certain uh, events going on in the country or in your state these things one needs to be know because uh, most of the like at least one two questions will come from the last week's uh, news which is, which is there in the newspaper so uh, these things one needs one needs to prepare holistically most important thing is uh, one needs to be very confident while giving the answers uh, if, if one don't know the answer it is not a problem it is not a strict uh, uh, cross examination like uh, strict question and answer session so if one don't know the answer they can tell to the interviewer that uh, sorry ma'am my uh, sorry sir i would not able to recall the question i would not able to recall the uh, answer so it is uh, it is pretty normal next uh, in the next question you would you would have you would know the better uh, better question which you can answer the answer which you can answer well so ultimately you, you need to give your answers with confidence if you don't know the answer don't lie to the interviewer i will share the transcript of my questions uh, 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 transcript of my interview uh, uh, the type of questions you will get to know which type of questions the interviewers are asking Uh, so you can have a look uh, in the description another important aspect uh, one needs to take care of is the soft skills and the body language especially in the body language perspective uh, one uh, one needs to give uh, respect and then one needs to be very calm and composed uh, while giving the answers uh, they don't uh, need to be tense if even if you are tense your score will be reduced so you need to be very calm and composed and then in the soft skills also you need uh, effectively you need to able to communicate your answer effectively that that is the matter uh, even if you are uh, uh, english language or hindi language is not good it is not it doesn't matter most of the times mostly you need to convey your message to the exam uh, to the interviewer effectively and your opinion is more important uh, than your uh, communication skill that's it all the best to the um, further aspirants you uh, you can prepare well and then you can have your own list of topics uh, uh, from the previous year questions uh, Uh, where you can analyze you can extrapolate the things uh, the uh, the the questions that might come in this year mains examination and you can extrapolate uh, some of the uh, things which they which the interviewer may ask from the daf so these things you can self work and then you can think of these things 
mostly ultimately in the upsc mains and interview mostly your opinion it plays an important role rather than mucking up the facts and delivering the things so you should uh, uh, think on the situation uh, whether it in mains or an interview and you have to deliver the answer so uh, all the best for the future aspirants